Hello, ClickOrlando.com. Justin Mormuth here with Tat Granada with Florida Home Improvement Associates, FHIA, as it's known by. So we're talking about getting your home prepared for hurricane season because it's so important to have to do this before a storm is headed our way. Can you talk about some of the best ways to for folks to get started on a project like this? Yeah, absolutely. First thing is recognizing what you currently have in your home. A lot of people don't really examine the windows and don't really know exactly what they have, what type mm -hmm. of protection they have, if any. So the first thing is understanding exactly what you have, then figuring out what is our plan, what is our strategy, do we want to have good hurricane protection, are we looking at replacing the windows, mm -hmm. and then what type of protection, because there's a lot of different types of hurricane protection as it relates to windows. There's several different ways that you can order the glass and different strengths. So hurricane, the, the, these windows need to sustain hurricane force winds. Not, I, I loved your quote on, a, on an article I read on Click Orlando that said, not all windows are created equal. So someone who bought a home may not be aware. How do they become aware of what their windows can sustain? Yeah, one of the things that we see when we meet with homeowners every day is there's a little bit of misconception about the Florida Building Code and what mm -hmm. that really means. Most people think if the job's been permitted and inspected, it's done the best way possible. Mm -hmm. Well, it really means that it was just done to pretty much the state minimum. It means it's better than what you had. Mm -hmm. um, so you at least have to do it to this strength. Mm -hmm. So when we meet with homeowners, we want to show them all the different types of hurricane glass. Mm -hmm. So if we're making that investment into our home, do we want to do it just to a minimum or do we want to do it to face any dangers of a hurricane, mm -hmm. which is not just impact, which is mostly associated with hurricanes, is flying debris, Absolutely. but also the dangers, as you know, of the wind pressures pushing and pulling in glass. Mm -hmm. So we want to show them the different options so that we can make the best decisions for the family. So. Every year we cover hurricane or even just storms in general. Patios, screened in patios often are the first to go, whether it's tree limbs or what have you. Uh, what's the best practice to make sure your screened in porch or maybe a pool is prepared for hurricane season? Yeah, the screened in patio is a very susceptible area because of that overhang and it's certainly easy to breach. And then once that storm gets inside that enclosed space, it really like magnifies the intensity of that storm. It has nowhere to go. It's kind of trapped. So you really want to make sure you can protect that area and especially the vulnerable area from the screen in room to the house now becomes even more vulnerable because that pressure has to go somewhere and a lot of times we see breaches in that area more than anywhere else. All right, let's talk about roofs because you know blue tarps we, we hate to see those and you know it's preventable. You know some situations obviously aren't if a huge oak tree falls on top of your home. But when it comes to you know avoiding having to put a blue tarp on your roof for a certain amount of time, what would you recommend for people getting ready um, and making sure they're basically making sure their roof is is up to up to par? Yeah. So most people aren't going to climb up on their roofs and really examine it, but there are some things you can look for. Where it starts if it's a shingled roof, if you start to see granulars like in your gutters, or you start to see debris or or parts of the shingle on your ground around the house it's starting to deteriorate if you know the age of the home and you know that roof is starting to get up there in, in years especially with the extreme temperatures heat we have in florida and the weather we've had over the last few years it's it's uh we have harsh summers that are really hot and also the the rain and the winds so it's not the best environment right. for a roofing material so really inspect that know what you have if you see some loose things start to address it early don't wait for it too late um, you, you just get ahead of it and you know be educated on what you have. I know your specialty is certainly the home itself, but part of a property includes trees and and obviously if your tree is not looking great to start the season, that's something that needs to be addressed as well. Um, I have a question too about whether or not you see a neighbor's tree that maybe look a little. <laughs> I, have you seen this this type of situation before? Yeah, we, we hear it a lot. I yeah. mean, we were in over 200 homes a day, so we certainly hear everything. Yeah. And and that neighbor relationship is one that's you know delicate mm -hmm. at times. So um, what we advise most homeowners to do is really protect your own home. Mm -hmm. You know, pay attention to what's around you. You certainly aren't responsible for your neighbor's property, but you are for your own. So if you some, see some things that may cause damage to you, mm -hmm. you know, do the things to protect your family and your investment. Is there anything we missed? No, I think it's just, you know, this time of year, it's not too late. You right. know, we think June is the start of the hurricane season, but it's certainly time if you examine and you have somebody come out to really go over things with you. It's not too late to protect your home and be prepared for the season. And that's why we're doing this, um, this coverage, because preparedness is key. Preparation is absolutely massive, and you don't want to wait until the, the week that maybe a storm is coming our way. You do it now. Make sure the building supplies are all there. Make sure someone is available to come out and check out your home. Um, for more information on on you guys, if someone wants you guys to come out and check out their home, what can they do? 
Yeah, the easiest way to reach us is just go to fhaproducts.com. Um, check us out, and uh, we'd love to come out and help in any way we can. All right, Tak Renata, thank you so much.